So Doctor Who has been out and about filming on location over the last few weeks and, well, here are my thoughts on it. Okay, so before I jump into the more recent, exciting stuff that's come out over the past couple of days, I thought I'd just quickly include the stuff that took place before Christmas because I didn't speak about it at the time and that is just a couple of shots that show the TARDIS next to this body of water. Possibly a river or a canal, I'm not sure looking at these, but everyone looks to be standing on some kind of wooden decking. We can also see buildings either side, making me think this is going to be a more contemporary based shoot. But yeah, other than confirming that shooty is continuing with the Whitaker box, there isn't really much to dig into, but I thought I'd just mention it anyway, before getting into the stuff that you clicked this video for. So these images came out a few days ago when they were shooting in Cardiff, I would show a shop front that's been done up to look like a campaign office, with the name Albion looking to be an important name. We can see all of these Volk William signs in the windows, bigger, better, bolder Britain, etc. Yeah, it's all looking very interesting. We know Russell is a very politically outspoken person. He's never tried to hide away from that or pander his work to appeal to certain sides. Yeah, very based. And this very much looks to be focused on, if not parading, right-wing media. Stuff like GB News instantly springs to mind looking at this. The propaganda is just everywhere, and I can't wait to see a politically charged, angrier Russell go into the next era of the show. Especially after seeing his work on stuff like years and years, and the fact that just so much else has happened since then. Yeah, I think we're in for a ride for this one. One thing that I have seen rumoured is that he could be doing a retread of the Series 3 finale, and this William candidate could turn out to be the master. I highly doubt that. There's no way that Russell is going to come back to the show and repeat important plot threads beat for beat to what he wrote previously. A political plotline shouldn't automatically link this to the master. And yeah, I've also seen people draw parallels to the logo being similar to the one used on the Valiant, but I honestly think that's just a coincidence and again is more in line with something like GB News. Yeah, I would be very surprised if he did choose to go down that route. I think we've seen enough of the master to be honest. I genuinely wouldn't mind if we didn't see that character again, or at the very least give it five years. That said, I do think there's more beneath the surface. We can see on one of the posters of William the words written, the space saviour. To me, possibly indicating an alien outside influence, or maybe it'll turn out that all Tories are aliens. I don't think that's where he'd take it, but I do think there's certainly more to this than just another right wing MP. Now there are a few other shots as well as a video showing off some of the interior, various people wearing bigger better bolder Britain shirts, red caps, which I don't have to point out the significance of that to you, and overall just a lot of really interesting looking stuff going on. I'm intrigued to see where it all goes, and if this is going to play into a bigger narrative, maybe having Albion be a corporation or recurring presence throughout the series, along the lines of something like Volksaxon or Bad Wolf. Something I did actually find out is that Albion was the name of the hospital from Aliens of London World War 3, so it could just be a callback to that, which honestly, pretty cool. And then the next thing to come out was this, which looks to show us a big alien slug. It's almost giving me Ricky Gervais from Extras vibes. Yeah, there's been a couple of images come out over the last few days showing this thing, none of which are particularly the best of quality, but we get enough of an idea, and I think there's just something really fun about seeing this big blobby monster out and about. Also, could this be linked to the political story? That would be something. The thing is, anything is possible at this stage, and that's why it excites me. Because we're getting these little glimpses building up hype, but at the end of the day, we don't really know anything. I'll be interested to see how this creature translates over to screen, even just seeing how it moves, because to me, looking at it now, it does look like the sort of thing I could see popping up in Classic Who. It doesn't look the most mobile, maybe a bit wobbly, which I won't lie, I absolutely love, but I don't think they'd get away with it nowadays, especially if Disney are backing it. And then finally, there was some other bits and bobs filming over in Swansea. I can't tell if this box has any significance, or if it's just a feature of the university's surroundings. I can make out the words fine time written on it, so that may or may not mean something. As well as a few shots of people setting stuff up. This photo here looks like they could have used a smoke machine, but then again it might just be a misty day. It is Swansea after all, it's not that impossible. The fact that DWSR are focusing in on this box does make me think that it's going to have some importance. And then there's this image. It's a bit blurry, but it looks to show something being covered up. Possibly even that slow creature we just had a look at. Because we see this person all in black, clearly standing next to what looks to be a large dark oval like object. But who knows what that could be. I think it might be the slug just because the filming dates align and they've probably just thrown a sheet over it to move it through the streets. That makes sense to me. I'd imagine a slug out in the open would draw some attention so yeah. That's what I'm thinking at the minute. But that looks to be it in terms of this update for now. 
I think going forward with these, I'm probably going to do something similar where I'll wait for a couple of bits to come out and then compile them into the one video. Because realistically, I'm not someone like Therese. I'm not able to jump on things as they drop. Unless if it's something big like, you know, the Daleks are seen roaming the streets, then I'll jump on something like that. But if it's just small stuff, then I'd rather wait until I have enough to put into a decent length video. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter for more Doctor Who crap. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with another video. Goodbye.